नमस्कार अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ दिस वीक विद पद्मशी डॉक्टर सुधीर पारिक डॉक्टर साहब वेलकम नमस्ते नमस्कार नमस्कार सो नाउ दैट वी हैव ऑब्जर्व वसंत पंचमी वी हैव आल्सो सीन सेकंड इंपीचमेंट ट्रायल ऑफ प्रेसिडेंट ट्रंप एंड देयर आर मेनी डेवलपमेंट्स फ्रॉम इंडिया वी विल ट्राई टू कैच अ फ्यू ऑफ देम टुडे बट आई वांट टू congratulate you because you kind of predicted that this uh, impeachment trial is not going to go further how do you feel having seen the whole uh, if we call it the proceeding of the impeachment trial well i mean uh, this was kind of uh, uh, necessary in a this exercise is necessary because in democracy if someone uh, perceived to break the law Uh, has to be go through this kind of uh, uh, exercise and uh, and uh, uh, impeachment and then trial but uh, we knew the outcome because it was kind of this trial was more of a political trial rather than judicial trial and therefore um, uh, outcome was uh, very obvious so whole impeachment was kind of dead on arrival because of uh, number of uh, senators you need to convict the former president and therefore um, it's not surprise that uh, he got acquitted but at least what uh, they achieve is they, they showed the country again one more time that what happened on january 6 which is deplorable and uh, unacceptable uh, it should not happen should not have happened and that's all uh, we uh, come out of this and i'm sure that will tarnish uh, some uh, image of uh, former uh, president donald trump so right after uh, he was acquitted uh, there was some impromptu spontaneous rally uh, people greeted him that is the news uh, having said that do you see him being able to sustain the momentum and have a sort of a comeback as a potentially a presidential candidate in 2024 well i mean Uh, time will tell but uh, but right now obviously the republican party uh, he has uh, complete control of the party because as you can see that those republican who went against him and voted for, uh, with the democrats uh, out of those seven two were already censure uh, uh, and discipline in their state gop uh, caucus uh, particularly in the louisiana and um, and uh, i think it's in the north carolina so it means that uh, still the party uh, pretty much uh, under his control he has a grip on the party mm-hmm. and that's why uh, i think uh, is early to say but i'm sure he will play a very active role in 2022 uh, when there will be some congressional and senate uh, races and he may play some role uh, important role a significant important role in 24 i'm not sure whether he will run himself but he may may make a uh, kind of a difference who will run or who will get nomination you know um, staying with america briefly in terms of what you have seen uh, the initial uh, steps of president biden uh, for american economy uh, do you see a ray of hope uh, sustained under uh, president biden for economic growth of america well i mean we don't know uh, but uh, at least uh, what in the initial uh, agenda is to pass to almost 2 trillion dollar uh, aid to covid uh, uh, help to the people of the usa that that's a large that is necessary and that kind of large um, infusion of the money into the in the in the market or in the economy sometime can uh, end up uh, creating the, some inflation and that's only concern we have but i think whatever is necessary should be done and hopefully his agenda will uh, can pass uh, uh, through the senate and congress uh, since um, uh, that is questionable because uh, now the part, uh, both the parties are so polarized and divided and so where who will do what is unpredictable it looks like that is the new norm of democracy whether it is america or india 
I think uh, President Trump also faced similar situation while he was not getting the due support and the bipartisanship seems to have no place in uh, American politics at the moment. Uh, so moving towards India and the same situation we see, but right now, uh, Prime Minister Modi is uh, leading the party which enjoys majority. Yet what you hear from opposition is pretty much um, totally opposing uh, government tooth and nail on every issue. Do you see any change uh, that might come about with this respect in India? And do, do you see this as a weakness of democracy? No, it's not weakness of the democracy. That's a, this is a real uh, um, soul of democracy. In, de <laughs> in democracy, the opposition is supposed to uh, oppose uh, rightfully or I mean genuinely whatever is valid, uh, valid to oppose. And so uh, opposition itself is not, uh, uh, not a weakness of the democracy. On the no, contrary, no. It's 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 a it's a healthy thing to do for opposition to oppose and 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 um, and uh, kind of uh, find out uh, a real uh, problem with the whatever agenda government of day has. Uh, but that uh, but they should not oppose just for sake of opposing it. They should oppose if there is some uh, validity to it. So you have uh, very rightly uh, chosen the word oppose rightfully. Now, who is, who is to decide rightfully is, again, uh, the discretion of the opposition parties. And the reason I ask you this question is because recently, after uh, the Google Doc uh, with tweet of Greta, the name of Disha Ravi, another uh, accomplice from India, also apparently uh, so-called environmental activist, but uh, looks like she also collaborated on... Uh, preparing the draft, which has uh, many, many uh, issues that are not pro-India. In fact, it is uh, to harm India. But opposition have come in support of uh, this 21-22 uh, year old uh, Bangalore-based uh, environmental activist, Disha Ravi. How do you see, even before uh, getting all the information, opposition start supporting uh, and uh, anybody uh, who, for who the law is taking or considering to take any action, opposition uh, starts speaking in their favor. So how do you see this phenomena in India? Well, uh, it goes both ways. In a sense that uh, when BJP was on in a, in opposition, or during the Indira Gandhi time and during emergency time. They also try to cultivate uh, international opinion in their favor or their opinion. So, in democracy, uh, as uh, yeah. any protest, uh, whether it's uh, through uh, uh, through um, uh, TV media or social media, uh, as long as it's it's not hurt, uh, it does not hurt the uh, security of the national security of the country then I think, uh, and it stays within the country, then any protest is uh, usually should be welcome, as long as it's not leading to is, uh, inciting uh, any violence or inciting any, any uh, unnecessary uh, damage and destruction of the country. So uh, peaceful protest is always welcome. Now again, in case of Disa Ravi, we do not know exact uh, right, uh, right now um, whether she was involved with the uh, other outside element uh, or unwanted element or not. So I think government should investigate her. But uh, but again, in democracy, the investigation has to be done according to law. It means everyone is innocent unless you prove that they are they have by investigation that their uh, intention was not good, not, not um, uh, right, and, and uh, they have malicious, uh, uh, what do you call, malicious way of uh, working. And if it is so, then they should be punished by law. Absolutely. So I think uh, I would just fill in uh, what we have read in the newspapers from Delhi police. Uh, she also sent 
WhatsApp message to Greta to delete that Google Doc, and she mentioned that uh, they would come under unlawful uh, practices act. So, um, so she probably was aware that she is doing something which is uh, legally not kosher. But moving uh, towards another side, which is a uh, feather in the cap of Indian government or India, that supplying uh, vaccines and even uh, Prime Minister of Canada calling an overall, uh, how do you see uh, this um, supplying of vaccine to so many countries has given a, a real boost to uh, India's image? Yes, yes, of course, it, it boosts to the India image that shows that India has arrived at the world stage and India can be very uh, contributory and very helpful to the people of the globe, uh, particularly in the now India is providing vaccine that shows that uh, uh, manufacturing of the vaccine in India uh, has been done in very, uh, very high scale. And I think we all should be proud of it that India India is uh, uh, come to the world stage as a leader uh, in different sector. And in this context, there are some reports uh, where uh, researchers are uh, working on studying what is it that has uh, brought uh, dramatically low impact of COVID-19 in India. Do you think it is uh, something else in the immune system of Indians or... Uh, the, because many of them on the social media, as you see, have not uh, uh, followed the guidelines of social distancing that well, yet uh, there are not that many cases. Well, I mean, I think uh, there, 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 there must be something genetically in not only in India, but whole Asia. And uh, that, therefore, if you look at the uh, numbers in Asia, in any country, it's relatively very low. Uh, uh, so, uh, so that shows that uh, there is some scientific uh, base for that, and I think uh, scientists should uh, investigate that and should study that and see whether it is true or not. And that's only explanation one can give why the number of cases are low in India or in other Asian countries as compared to Europe and, and uh, America. Absolutely. And there are some traditional ways uh, for healing or uh, significance of some Indian spices like haldi, which now also is available here in America at certain stores and they also uh, sell some um, milk with haldi, etc. But referring to this, I bring uh, for your attention another, another reference about which Prime Minister Narendra Modi today uh, while uh, inaugurating virtually a uh, statue of one King Suhel Dev, he mentioned that uh, history written with slave mindset is not true portrayal of the nation. Now, do you, uh, do you agree with this statement that we have not uh, given correct picture of India's history uh, in the independent India? Probably, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, what Prime Minister said that he has some uh, truth to it. Always, when you are uh, under uh, someone's uh, colonization by British for two hundred years, whatever is written uh, about India has some uh, bias uh, tend to it or, uh, or twist to it. And I think uh, I agree with the Prime Minister what he's saying that uh, probably the history written for independence India. Uh, it's probably not perfect or correct uh, history as far as uh, we are concerned. Absolutely. And as we uh, move towards the concluding part of our conversation today, India is a land of festivals and festivals are also a way of reinforcing certain values in our system. So uh, this week we observed Vasant Panchami. As a child growing up in India, do you have any uh, recollection of how this uh, festival was observed and what is the significance of uh, Vasant Panchmi for you? Well, I think what I recall correct, uh, correctly, I think Vasant Panchmi meant to uh, I mean, do the puja of the Saraswati. And uh, if, I'm, if I'm not wrong, and uh, because I'm not very ritual person, but uh, what I remember 
that we used to do the um, sloka which related to saraswati on the day of vasant panchmi and i think vasant panchmi is very auspicious day in the indian hindu calendar and uh, that's what i remember and all good thing uh, people starts uh, in vasant panchmi absolutely i want to thank you on that and as uh, we move uh, to say goodbye i uh, would say you were right uh, goddess saraswati uh, known as the goddess of knowledge and art forms is also worshiped so uh, we have heard that knowledge is power may the power of knowledge uh, bring about harmony in our lives with that um, greeting and wishes on vasant panchmi or a uh, parting words for our viewers well i mean uh, dear friends uh, still uh, i would like to remind everyone that uh, vaccines are available now we have almost three vaccines available in uh, in usa so whenever you get chance to get the vaccine please uh, get it do not hesitate it. do not believe uh, unnecessary rumors on social media the vaccine are uh, are relatively very safe and uh, that's only way to end this pandemic so please get the vaccinated uh, and follow the all the cdc guideline uh, even after vaccination then hopefully by summer we all should be uh, free from this pandemic so please remember that get vaccinated so uh, with that i would like to uh, say that uh, god bless india God bless America and God bless Indian American community. Goodbye. We'll see you next week again, same time. Thank you.